Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've been super busy. Um, as you can tell, we're doing a little bit of moving and it's just been crazy busy, so I'm back. Anyways, today I wanted to do a haul video. I've accumulated a bunch of stuff within the last couple months and I wanted to share them with you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Um, a lot of these products, you know, I've seen around and I've heard a lot of reviews on and so I thought I would try them out myself. Um, so let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about are my Sigma brushes, which I actually just got in the mail today, so I'm super excited. I got the Synthetic Kabuki Kit, Ooh. the um, Synthetic Precision Kit, which are, I think they're just like the Kabuki brushes, they're just smaller. and. I got this seven piece eye kit from Sig or seven brush eye kit from Sigma. Five synthetic kabuki brushes. Um, some of them tapered, some of them flat. We've got the Sigma flat kabuki, the round kabuki, the angled kabuki, as you can see, the flat angled kabuki, which I'm really excited to contour with, and the tapered kabuki which I'm really excited to apply some of my brightening and highlighting powders under my eye area because it's tapered, it'll be easier to kind of get in there. They're really nice. I like the quality of them. They're really soft. Um, you know, they're pretty thick brushes, which is really important to me. Um, so the quality seems really nice. Also with the same package, I got these synthetic precision kits. I think these are really going to be great for application of creamier products like concealers, primers, or eyeshadows. Um, you know, they're small enough and they're tapered in different ways where they can really get into areas that are smaller and that maybe your larger brushes and maybe the, your larger brushes wouldn't really be able to um, reach. So these are really nice as well. I think they mirror the Kabuki brushes are just in a smaller size. Like I actually got the Essential Eyes Kit and sorry about the crackle. I have eye makeup brushes. But, but I don't have a consistent set. So I really wanted to get a good set with, you know, different um, brushes for different applications so that I have one of each whenever I need it. Um, there's a pencil brush, a tapered blending brush, a large shader brush, a eyeliner brush, which I really need. I actually I think I do have an eyeliner brush, but nothing like this. I really like how thin and precise it is. It will be really great for applying gel liner and products like that. This is a medium angled shading brush, a eye shading brush, and a small angle brush, which will be great for filling in eyebrows. The bristles are thick, which is nice. They're soft, like I mentioned before, and... They just are all around, I think, a good quality set of brushes. On the topic of makeup brushes, I also picked up this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I have heard a lot about. Um, you know, a lot of people really like this brush for foundation application, and I thought I'd give it a try. It's really inexpensive. I think it's like eight bucks. I actually used it to apply my foundation today and it did a great job. This brush is really great for buffing out foundation, concealer. These soft, thick bristles really get in there and give you a really nice, flawless application. So, Along with my brushes, I also got this free little gift. It's the Brush Cleaning Glove from Sigma. It's got different areas here. Um, where you would clean your brush, the rinse, wash, and refine areas. I think it's really going to come in handy when I wash my brushes. So I'm excited to give that a try. Pretty cute. Another thing that I picked up at Sephora recently was this Hula Benefit Bronzer, which I've heard great things about. I was looking for a matte um, bronzer, deeper shade to contour with, and I'm actually wearing it today, and I really do like this product. Um, it's just great for contouring. It really adds a lot of definition and dimension to your face, and I'm really pleased with this product. Woo! I'm back. It is so hot in here. So, next is this Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, Soft and Gentle. Um, a lot of people say great things about this as a highlighter, and I was in the market for one. Thought I'd pick it up. This is beautiful. 
As you can see, it is just a beautiful highlighter with all different dimensions and tones and shades. And I have a feeling I'm going to love it. I also picked up this highlighter from Mary Kay and it's in pink porcelain because I was looking for a highlighter that didn't have the shimmer in it. So this is a more matte um, highlighter and it's got the white and pink tones in it. Um, I have used this and I really like it. I like to put this right in, right above my cheekbone area and along the bridge of my nose. It does a great job at highlighting without the shimmer, which sometimes, you know, sometimes I want the shimmer, sometimes I don't. So it's nice to have the option of both. And I really, really like this. So, so I picked up this um, Benefit Erase Paste Concealer and this is in the number one shade, which is Fair. And this is the lightest shade. I'll show you what it looks like. It's, I swatched it at Sephora before I actually purchased it, and I really like the consistency. It is a thicker consistency, so you're going to have a lot more coverage. That's what I like, so that's why I picked it up. Um, if that's not your thing, understandable, but I love it. Tiny little spatula thing, um, which is off somewhere. I don't feel like getting it, but... Um, yeah, you can use that to like scoop a little bit on to your under eye area or any area that you're trying to conceal. And then I use this MAC 130 brush to buff it in. It's really easy to apply and it really lasts a long time. Obviously, you'll want to set it with some sort of powder and literally this will move off your face. I really love it. It gives me the coverage that I like. It really brightens the under eye area and conceals really well. I would definitely recommend this for you if you're looking for that kind of a consistency in your concealer. Love it. I picked up a couple of lipsticks. This one is in Snob. I really wanted a really cute pink lipstick that I could just kind of wear anywhere. I actually have it on right now. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful rosy pink shade and it's gorgeous. I love it. Like I said, I have it on right now. I really love the shade. I think it's great for day to day um, and it's easily buildable and glammable by throwing on your favorite lip gloss or whatever. Also, I picked up Candy Yum Yum, which I've been lusting over for a while. And for some reason, every time I went to go pick it up, it was never in stock. But this time I got it in a matte hot pink shade and it really is yummy. It's gorgeous, beautiful, glam. Love it. Also at MAC I picked up a new matte blush. This is Melba. Beautiful matte pinky orangey beautiful shade. And I actually have it on today. I've been wearing this as my everyday blush and it's just a great everyday shade. If you don't already have it, I would definitely recommend picking this up. It's, it's beautiful. Next, I picked up a couple of eyeshadows. This is Soft Brown and we have Shroom. Shroom is more of a shimmery shade and it's great for highlighting the eye area um, in the tear ducts, the brow bone, right in the middle to give your eyelid a pop. Love this Shroom shade. Also, this is soft brown, and it's actually a matte shade. And this is such a wonderful, beautiful, everyday, soft, light brown shadow, especially if you are a darker hair girl like me. Um, it's just a really great everyday shadow to give some depth to your eye and it looks so natural. My eyes being brown, it really brings out my eye color and just ties my whole face together with the different darker shades of my eyebrows and my hair, etc. I, I have been using this every day in the creases of my eyes to give me more depth and definition. And I really feel like no matter what your um, hair color or eye color, this is just a universal, beautiful brown shade for everybody. So. If you haven't already tried this out, go to your Mac store, do a little swatch, see how it looks. I think you'll really love it. This is one of my new favorites for sure. At Sephora, this Anastasia Brow Wiz Crayon Pencil. It's really nice. It's going to give you really great precision when filling your eyebrows in. It's going to help your eyebrows look a lot more natural, overall, well-groomed, well-shaped, natural-looking brow. 
The other end, of course, has a spoolie, which is really helpful to get rid of any harsh lines. I actually went to Sephora and tried the different shades, and soft brown, in my opinion, just fit me best. And they do, they have, I think they have like five different shades. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a great, precise, brow filler. Next, I ran out of my beloved Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. This is just my all-time favorite mascara. Personally, for me, I have thicker lashes. It's a great job at coating each lash and just really giving my eyelashes that mm, and that beautiful, thick look. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I mean, I have other mascaras that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is just the one that works the best for me. So if you have, you know, thicker, longer lashes and you need something that curls them and, you know, coats them well, this is a mascara for you, girl. Also at MAC, I picked up this lip liner and it's in magenta. It's a beautiful, true to name magenta shade. One of my friends actually had this liner when I went to go visit her in Pittsburgh. And at the time I had my Maybelline Brazen Berry lipstick that I was really loving and wearing a lot of. I happened to have this magenta lip liner and I tried these together and loved the combination. I mean this is just such a perfect shade to match with the lipstick. Um, they really go really well. So I decided I had to pick up my own. This is just a beautiful, beautiful magenta lip liner. Um, I feel like you, this lip liner can go with so many um, different lip shades. I feel like this would even go great with Candy Yum Yum. I'll have to try that and let you guys know. Is this Mary Kay Matte Bronzer in Sand Dust. I've been looking, like I mentioned before with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, I've been looking for a matte bronzer to contour with and just give my face definition, a natural definition without the shimmer um, and access. I really like this bronzer and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but whoop, I, knew that, I knew that was going to happen. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I've actually used, been using this a lot and um, it's just a great double, it's like a dual shade bronzer. It's great for contouring and giving your face a natural definition. Um, like I said, there's no shimmer and it's a really beautiful sandy tone. So it really gives your face that natural sun-kissed look. So I really have been loving this. Um, and up until I got this Benefit Hoola, this is what I've been using. And I think they're actually pretty similar in shades. This one obviously has the dual shade, so it's a little bit lighter on the bottom. But I have been really, really loving this shade. If you're looking for a matte bronzer that's inexpensive, I would definitely go with this one. From Mary Kay. This is this blush by NARS. It's called Orgasm. It's a very popular blush shade. It's a beautiful pinky, corally, shimmery blush. Perfect for the summertime. This is definitely a classic and I'm glad I picked it up. Next is this Moroccan Oil Hair Treatment Serum. Um, I ordered it. It came with a little pump which I'm actually going to replace because I like having the convenience of the pump as opposed to, you know, having it pour out but I've heard wonderful things about this product and now that I have decided to go lighter in my ends with the ombre, um, you know, anytime you go lighter with darker hair, it's obviously going to do some damage, especially if you bleach and I want to really maintain the integrity and healthiness of my hair. So I've invested in this and I'm going to, I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to really apply it generously to the ends of my hair. So those were all of my products from today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with all my videos, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.